and now we can start working on the toggle section so what we can do let's make it inspect element this looks pretty good to me close this one and here we are and that's the component we have and this is the token we have inside the token we have this toggle so let's click on this and that's what we're going to work on now so first thing we have to do is we have to import a couple of things so we have to do the internal import we need the style file and let's remove this one we'll take a div it will have a class called style dot toggle div it will have another div it will have a class called toggle dash switch it will have this input type is going to be let's say check box and it will have a class called style dot check box name is going to be let's say hmm, what we can call we can call something like no and we can provide the id so we can take the let's do one thing let's take this label and simply copy this one and replace it with this label as well and we have to receive that label as a prop okay so let's receive that as a prop and what we can do we can simply come here and we can send that as a prop so in the prop i can send the text to no okay so that's the prop we are sending in the toggle and that's what we are receiving and this looks pretty good now let's take care another label and here we're going to display the label we have to take the class style and we'll call it label and come here and we have to take the span and here we're going to take the class is going to be let's say inner and it's going to be let's say mm, let's take toggle inner toggle inner because this is the convention we are following toggle let's do that for all the classes let's call it toggle dash label this looks pretty good and this one is going to be self-closing okay replicate it and change this to switch and that looks pretty good fine and that's the only JSX part we have to write for this toggle button if we need anything extra we can definitely come back here so let's come here copy this toggle class and let's start styling on the CSS part simply click on this and make the thing side by side so we can see what we are working on so let's click on this and how it will look click on this you can see we have our checkbox that means everything is working fine now we can target that toggle text align center toggle switch it will have a position relative width is going to be 75 percent display is going to be inline block and text aligned left top is going to be eight pixels we'll come down we'll target the toggle check box display is going to be none because we want to display our custom toggle the second one is toggle dash label display is going to be block overflow hidden cursor pointer border zero pixels solid and we have this random color you can pick anything no matter so i'm going with this gray one now let's take this border radius 20 pixels let's come down we have tagged the toggle inner display is going to be block width is going to be 200 persons margin left is going to be minus 100 percent and we'll have the transition is going to be margin 0 0.3 second easy in 0 0.0 second 0 second let's come here we have to target the toggle dash inner before and we have to target the toggle toggle dash and this is the after and here we have to set the flare float is going to be left width is going to be 50 percent height is going to be 36 pixels padding is going to be zero line height is going to be 36 pixels cursor color sorry color is going to be our white and it will have our font width is going to be bold box sizing is going to be border box that looks pretty good to me right now you can't see anything but everything is happening so let's come here and this time we can come down and we can simply target the toggle inner before so earlier we targeted the together because we want to apply the styling 
some common styling and now we're going to tag it individually so content type is going to be yes before one is we'll say padding left is going to be 10 pixels background color is going to be our second primary and color is going to be our primary color what you can do is simply replicate this one and you have to change this text to no and that looks pretty good okay let's come down we have to target the toggle switch and display is going to be let's say block width is going to be 24 pixels margin 5 pixels and we have the background color is going to be our this red color we'll have the position absolute top is going to be zero bottom is going to be zero okay that's weird this is not what i want okay we have some done something wrong okay right is going to be 40 pixels and border is going to be let's say zero pixels solid and this random color so something's wrong okay let's write the code transition all 0 0.3 second easy in and 0s that looks pretty good to me now let's come down and this is okay this is also okay let's comment this out no problem and we can target this toggle checkbox we'll say checked if it's checked then we have to target the toggle label we have to target the toggles and this is called inner and we have to say margin left is going to be zero simply do one thing replicate this one and here we have to do the changes so instead of toggle inner we have to say toggle switch and this will also be changed so we can say right zero so okay some problem we have because this looks weird save it and if you click on this our animation is working fine you can see it's sliding beautifully but there is some problem that's working what we can do come here and i can see the problem where it's happening you can see i have assigned the same classes in two places toggle switch and toggle switch one for the div and one for the span so what i can do i can simply change this to toggle switch box if you save it copy and come here and if i replace this one toggle switch and boom you can see now it's looking fine you can click but it's still it's not 100 percent this is not what i want and if i come here and here i can see that it's two so let's change this one let's make it one maybe this could fix this one save it and and here we have to change this not before it's after save it and you can see now it's looking pretty good so you can see but this is not what i want still we have to do some and this one is right we have to make it it is left okay you can see the before one is left but we have to turn it to right so we have to turn this to right it's good and this one is fine to me and here we can define that so we can say border radius because we have to make it a circle and it's now a square so let's look good we have this circle and okay that looks good we have to do adjustment let's come back to the code and i know where is the problem is happening so that looks good there is no problem in this code in this area in the label section we have so this is the problem we have and actually my bad it's percentage we have, we have to assign in pixels save it and now it's look good you can see okay we have to provide a little bit of space so let's come here and here we can add that space so let's say text alignment is going to be right and now it's going to be good it looks beautiful you can see yes no yes no and if you do the inspect element it's already 100 percent responsive for mobile device as well and that's how our toggle is looking this is how our custom toggle open close open close everything's looking fine to this you can type the tolerance you can type the slippage everything's working fine you can check the media query it's 100 percent responsive that looks good and now okay this is the problem we have we have to fix this one still we have this problem but this far we have came and everything is working fine no more issues we have completely close this one close this one